What's that? Just taking pictures of what I can see from public. Okay. For what reason? Just I'm a journalist. Just okay. doing just check information for a story. Looking at specifically looking at. Oh yeah, I was looking at the public and vehicles and stuff. Okay. We pay for them. I want to make sure they're licensed, like like you guys make sure we're licensed. I'm just doing the same thing, holding you guys accountable, just like you do us. What does that mean? Questionable authority paid a visit to the Gallatin County Law and Justice Center in Bozeman, Montana. In the morning of this audit, I read in the local paper the city commissioners had approved a November ballot measure asking for $36.9 million from residents. The money is for a new police headquarters, a fire station, municipal courts, prosecution offices, and victim services. Voters had rejected similar measures through the county two times previously, once as recent as last year. Like most authoritarians, these commissioners must see some version of their idea pushed onto the people. They will continue to pound citizens over the head with slightly different versions of the proposal until it finally gets passed. Because once the voters approve, you know, then it's the will of the people, right? I mean, by the third or fourth go-round, you should have enough nice talking points for enough of the citizens' concerns to get the required votes. Now on to the audit. This is where we get to see how the order followers hired by these commissioners to enforce those rules with guns and the threat of throwing us in cages respect our inherent rights. I always pay attention to unmarked cop cars and how they are used. In this lot, which is open to the public, I found what appeared to be a law enforcement vehicle with no plates or markings of any kind other than flashing lights, a grill guard, a laptop mounted to the dash, and all of the other equipment in cop cars. These order followers enforce rules saying we have to pay money to license our property. If we don't agree, they will eventually threaten to and possibly even put us in a cage until we agree to go before one of their judges over the matter. I know a lot of you think I'm being extreme, but that's really what it boils down to. I politely inquire about the unlicensed vehicle, not knowing anything about it. This first guy thought my concern was silly, but he seemed to have no problem with me raising the concern. He just laughed it off and told me where the public lobby was. Yeah, I'm just writing, doing a story here. Yeah. Well, I'm an independent journalist. Oh, okay. Yeah. What's your story? Well, right now it's that unmarked vehicle over there. It doesn't even have license plates on it. looks like it's being used. It's brand new. It's a sheriff's office. They haven't gotten it marked. Uh, I labels, assume so. Yeah. I assume so. It's just kind of weird. To look. I mean, all outfit it's like it's been used. It's just, but that's how they come. Well, I know, but if I drove a vehicle like that, it wouldn't, I'd get You're in trouble. It if, until it's all no, that's, I'm just asking questions because it looks like it's been driven. Okay. So That's your news story? Well, it's, it's, it is right now, yeah. Okay. Hey, I hope this the government isn't for is, this, oh, restrict. is there a public lobby? Yeah. I'm sorry, I was, I was just following you. <laughs> Thank you, I appreciate it. I appreciate it. Thanks for your help. Okay, just make sure. Make sure I don't see anything saying I can't record in there. Firearms, no smoking. Can't see anything. We got a camera up here. Here's inside the lobby of the building here.
Now you'll see my interaction in the police lobby area. The lady at the front desk handled my questions well. In fact, I wish some of her personality would rub off on the ones carrying around guns. At the cars out there, and there's an unmarked car that doesn't have license, front, back, or anything. I talked to a guy who says new, but I guess I'm just curious. I know you can't, you don't have anything to do with it, True. but you're the person at the desk that I'm talking to. Um, but I was just curious. It somehow had to be driven here. I assume. I assume it didn't get dropped off by a trailer. Okay. They do. They oh, okay. Do okay. Okay. That answers my question. So, like, is that? Do you know? Is that? Is that? What's the policy on unmarked? Is, does the state of Montana use unmarked vehicles or Bozeman PD? I can't answer that. Okay. I can't answer that. <laughs> All right. Uh, I, mean, I mean, undercover. I assume you guys probably do, but like for patrolling and things like that, you use you know use unmarked for that. You know, detectives. Um, detectives, maybe the senior. Drug task force. Yeah. Yeah. Those. But like for traffic patrolling, do you guys use the patrol vehicles? Patrol vehicles. They're not unmarked though, the patrol vehicles? Ah, oh, perfect. That's excellent. I'm from the state of Washington. It's a big controversy over there. And they're not supposed to use them at all. And they seem to somehow get them to use them. So it's very nice to see a municipality saying, look, we're for detectives, undercover work. Um, you know, a lot of the civil deputies yeah. are in vehicles that are not marked. Okay. Serving paperwork. Well, yeah, stuff like that, yeah. yeah. Just my concern, like I have, you know, I used to have an ex-wife that was really small and my daughter is gonna be really small and I have a son with a disability, so I get concerned with, there is a lot of people who pose as police officers. So I just wanna tell you guys, we really appreciate that you guys are out there in marked vehicles with traffic stuff and things like that. Well, and it's, you know, that you hear stories and I've never heard one in this area, yeah. in the state of Montana for that matter, that, you know, somebody puts a light bar on top, you buy a light bar at an off sheriff's auction. You're 100% you right. And you pull people over. You're right. <laughs> it's a little scary. It is. Smart. Yep, yep. Thank you for your professionalism. Hey, I just wanted to give you this. I'm an independent journalist. I hold police account. After leaving the lobby, I strolled around a little bit more, getting some more footage of the facilities. On my way to the detention center, I went through the parking lot again, doing exactly what is later deemed as being suspicious. Keep in mind, this is now my second time through the lot, paying attention to individual police cars. Lots of people drove by and observed me doing this. Like most people, since I wasn't doing anything illegal, they went about their business, letting me go about mine. Then I went into the detention center lobby to ask a few questions. Uh, to update, they're expecting in the next 20 years the population to double of this town. So they are asking for more money to update the facilities and make them larger. I just had a quick question. I was reading the paper this morning about uh, the city of Bozeman asking for more money. This is, wouldn't be considered one of the municipal buildings that they're asking for money for, no, that, right? No, we're, um, we're just the county. The county. This detention is the detention center, center right? Yep. Okay, so yeah. this is all so, county. The, the yeah. city use this though, like for their, because I know like Belgrade, they'll bring people here, right? So we house for um, Belgrade, Bozeman, Gallatin County, um, and then we do overflow for different okay. other counties too. All right. um, so we do house um, 
uh, individuals that are brought into custody for Bozeman. That makes sense. Here. Because Bozeman but, doesn't have a, a jail individually, does it? No, just this? Okay. Just okay. this, yeah. So the building that they're talking about wanting to Just the main is, building over yeah, here. Right? That's what I thought. Decisions. I just saw this one over here and wanted to make yeah. sure. Yeah, well, <laughs> it's, it's always good to ask. Yep. So, well, you have a good day. You too. While I'm in here, we'll just take a look around. So this is just the lobby for like when prisoners are released or for visitations or something like that here, right? Okay. Yep. Perfect. Thank you for your help. Thank you. You too. This is where things get interesting. On the way out, I noticed a Montana State University police car. I went to go check it out. Now my third time entering the parking lot. I think it's interesting to see the different paint jobs and I also like to look for any thin blue line gang decals. While checking out this car, I was observed by an escalating order follower. This cop, order follower muscle, is dangerous. I'll break down my interaction with him and I'm working on some FOIA requests right now. Bozeman PD isn't very transparent and doesn't make it very easy to initiate the process. Keep in mind with my interaction, I don't believe in anybody being able to scribble some rules on a piece of paper and then those rules becoming laws for all of us to follow. Call it what you will. I'm not for any form of government or rulers. I'm for personal responsibility, having no rulers, and I believe in the non-aggression principle. I tried to de-escalate the situation a few times, but this order follower just wouldn't have it. He had to find a way to elevate me into a threat category. Check out the interaction and let me know what you think. How you doing? In the LJ lot, the guy filming. Hey, what's yeah. going on, man? I'm not just taking some pictures when okay. I can see from public. What's that? Just taking pictures when I can see from public. Okay. For what reason? Just I'm a journalist. Just okay. out doing just check information for a story. Looking at specifically looking at. Oh yeah, I was looking at the public vehicles and, and stuff. Okay. We pay for them. I want to make sure they're licensed, like like you guys make sure we're licensed. I'm just doing the same thing, holding you guys accountable, just like you do us. What does that mean? Are you kidding me? You hold people accountable to the indiscriminate whims of our rulers by enforcing victimless crimes, yet you don't understand the concept? You need to put down the badge and gun, step away from the perceived authority over others, and educate yourself a bit more. Well, a lot of times I'll see, well, just for example, just walking up here, I saw that there was a, a new car that didn't have a license plate anywhere on it. Okay. So I just checked the front and the back, didn't have any plates didn't have any like new sticker or anything so I just went in and asked said hey you know let's deal with that and then she I said is it trailered here or was it driven here she said oh it's trailered here so oh perfect okay so just you know like I said there's not really anyone to hold the police accountable so I'm just so that's you huh well all right. part of what I do what's your oh, I don't give out my name to public officials really I'm a I'm just doing lawful activities so I, I, I value my privacy so it's I just don't suspicious give it man here we go with the suspicious activity we've all heard it and suspicion still doesn't take away any of my inherent rights unless I'm breaking one of his laws. Just because he doesn't like what I'm doing, he calls it suspicious. It's easier to manipulate the masses into shaming me for holding him accountable if he uses words like suspicious rather than just saying the truth. Like, I don't like what you're doing and I want you to stop. You have to understand, this is a PR game for these thugs and convincing the sheeple we are bad is goal number one. Well, what's suspicious about the just fact walking that you're in public? Out here filming well, police vehicles and taking I mean, I pictures think, of them. I that. think a lot of what police do is suspicious, but I'm sure you do. But that's why I'm checking on you. Yeah, and I suspicious. completely understand that. I will tell you, I have no ill will, no Ill, Ill intent or anything like that. I just walk around filming public buildings and just make sure that everything is being done properly because not everybody does that. So, okay. so far, you guys have been awesome, and I have no problem. I understand what you're saying. It's that it, it's not something wanna, that happens every day. But you don't feel the need to identify yourself. When I say so far they had been awesome, I meant up until he approached me. He is escalating the situation. If I don't cooperate, I'm a danger and start to fit into a threat category. See how that training works and why order following is so dangerous? Now, because I won't give my full name, I am a threat to this guy with a gun. Well, no, not I mean, even, if, I, even, have I done anything illegal? Not even to give your, didn't say you did, man. No, I don't. I'm just identifying it. Well, because I understand the suspicious circumstances of this. I understand that. With this day and age, man, there's some crazy people out there. I and certainly I have no understand idea that. what you got in there. I don't know what you're doing. For reference, 
He just pointed at my camera accessories bag. I just explained what I'm doing. He even told me I'm not breaking any laws. Yet he is choosing to escalate. To this order follower, the only thing that matters is getting my name. He cares not about the pieces of paper that he took an oath to uphold. He cares only about following his training, his orders. And people wonder why I don't put any faith in our rulers or their thug enforcers anymore? You gotta be kidding me. I certainly understand. I looked in, I've I'm looked in, so I do, a, and I understand that. And I do a lot of research on police and training. And I do understand that you guys are taught to perceive us as a threat all the time. And, but in reality, the statistics are opposite. Like in 2016, for every interaction between like someone like yourself and myself, I was eight times more likely to die than you. Then if you take out the traffic accidents of that, okay. so then I'm 16. So are you going to tell me your name? Uh, I'll tell you my name. Corey. My name's Corey. Corey. Yeah. Corey what? Uh, just Corey. That's good. That's it, huh? Yeah. Corey. That's all we need, okay. right? All right. I mean, I'm, did you tell me your name? I did. I'm Officer Musson. Musson. Okay. Thank yeah. you, Officer. Well, I appreciate that. More non-compliance, and this time showing him that I am educated on their tactics. What does this cause? More escalation on his part. Then I try to calm him down and give him a little info to set him at ease. This shows he's just following orders and not being a human. Instead of taking a little bit of compromise, he escalates again because I'm not cooperating and giving him my full name and everything else he asks of me. Then he lies to me, telling me he already told me his name. By the way, the Supreme Court has ruled many times it's okay for police to lie during an interrogation. Okay. Like I said, you guys have been very professional so far. I mean, everybody just saw that I was doing it's even another... Has hey. anybody else contacted you? Well, when I, yeah, when I first came up, there was, he was, I think he was just showing up for work. He was okay. in plain clothes, and he was walking in there. He asked me, you know, what I, if I was just doing a news story. I said, yeah, I told him what I was doing. Okay. I, I actually, by mistake, I was talking to him and following him. I almost went in the restricted access door. Okay. <laughs> he told me it was, and so he, he showed me the right way, and I went and asked the lady, like I said, up front. I talked, went in the lobby, talked to him. And like I said, I understand that what I'm doing is an, an everyday occurrence right it's so not, it's it's very it's not typical at all and i understand that but and you know from someone like my perspective from someone from my and i understand that and that's why i'm having a conversation with you you know just saying hey this is this is what i'm doing so um like i said i i don't have any any problems with you taking my picture um and now we get the cam back this doesn't bother me i have nothing to hide what bothers me is they have me on several cameras around the facility already. This picture does nothing other than try to intimidate me and to create more of a PR picture for the sheeple. If a passerby sees this behavior, they will assume I am in the wrong and the bad guy hassling this cop. Yep, even this is more escalating and order following. I am going to FOIA request that if it's your personal phone, um, don't delete that because well, now that I'm you just, took a picture. I'm just taking a picture just like you're taking I know, a picture I know, and I understand, but you're a public That's official, so I can do a FOIA right. request for that. So now I'm yeah. going to do a FOIA request so I can get that picture off your phone. So okay. if you're going to do that. If you want it. What? I'll send it to you. Well, I'm not going to, if I'm not going to give you my full name, I'm not going to give you all my contact okay. information. All right, man. I'm just saying, the reason I do this is... Um, see, this is just not normal. No, I understand this that. This is and not normal. You're, you're, the way you're acting is not normal. Well, because if so someone you're, with you're, a gun comes up on me for just standing yeah, in public I'm a, I'm taking pictures, officer. I know. That's but it. sir, I'm not. Am no, I break, listen, you, you am I breaking that, any laws? Listen to me. You say that you're supportive of us and what we do, this and that, and then, but you continue with this. Wait a minute. When did I say I was supportive of these order-following thugs of the state? Again, here he is lying during an interrogation. I have no idea why at this point, other than my responses don't allow me to be neatly packaged into a threat category. To be clear. I don't support armed thugs with guns thinking they have authority over other people who aren't harming them or their property. Lastly, normal is a word rarely used to describe me or my activities. I'm used to that adjective. But he says not being normal is what makes me suspicious. Crazy, right? Funny, I've been doing this a while now. I'm pretty sure none of the order followers I've met thought I was being normal. Yet none of them pursued my full name and contact details like this one did. And you, then you're going to say you're going to take, um, you're going to request the picture. You're going to do all this different well, stuff. Well, because I don't like. Make sense. Because here's my problem: is I pay uh, your salaries through taxes, okay. this right? Guy is, uh, if there's anybody else out here, uh, anybody know what? He's identifying himself as Corey. You know what? I feel like I'm being interrogated for not breaking any laws. Am I being? Am I being this detained? Not an interrogation. Am I being detained? No. Okay, then I'm going to see you later. Have a good one. You too.
I'm requesting the picture on his phone because he escalated a non-threatening situation and caused the scene for a law-abiding individual. I don't enjoy being harassed by people with guns, especially ones in a gang calling themselves cops. This gang infiltrates our schools and initiates a propaganda campaign with our youth, teaching them at an early age extortion of the public is necessary for a civilized society. Maybe we should start studying and learning about what a civilized society might really look like. Call me crazy, but I certainly don't see this age of empires at war as civilized. As I left, I made sure I wasn't being followed or tailed. The second guy who came out was hopefully talking some sense into this dangerous order follower. We can only hope. I'll assume so since I wasn't followed. I hope you enjoyed this video and got something out of it. Leave a comment to me and let me know your thoughts. Hit the thumbs up and share it with everyone you know. Thanks for checking out another questionable authority video. Feel free to share our content with everyone you know to get the word out. Follow us on Twitter and Facebook as well to stay connected. Links are in the description and on the screen now. Until next time, question everything and be a positive influence on somebody's life each and every day. It's as simple as a smile as you pass by.